So the men's and women's Bundesliga team of the season have been out for just about three days, which is roughly enough time for me to review and try out every single one of the cards you see on the screen, minus the odd one or two. And I'm currently grinding away in squad battles, completing some evolutions to get reviews out later. So I thought now's the perfect time. Tier list time. Let's go. Men's and women's Bundesliga cards. What we say. The tiers, as you can see, are S plus, S, A plus, A, and B. I've added A plus just to add a bit of differential between, you know, the cards in that category. Previous for the Premier League one, we just had an A category. But obviously, there's some cards better than others. So just add a bit of a difference there. But S plus obviously being the best of the best. S, fantastic, really good. A plus and A, still fantastic. B, probably bottom of the barrel. If you need FC24 coins for team of the season, there's one place you should go, MMOEXP.com. Link is in my description and make sure to use my code Morsi at checkout to save yourself 5% off your order. All right then, getting stuck into it. By the way, let me know down below if you wanna see a tier list for every single team of the season release. So one each week, I'm definitely up for doing it. The Premier League one went well. So if you enjoy this and wanna see ones for the future, Make sure to smash a like on the video. Let's see if we can hit like 30 of in the first hour. That'd be sick. Subscribe if you're new. And let me know if you agree or disagree with any of the ridiculous statements I'm about to make. All right, let's get stuck in then straight away. A few into the B tier. We're going Dunst in the B tier. Fromm's in the B tier. I mean, they're not bad. This is the thing with Team of the Seasons. You've got to be critical. Yes, they're 92 rated, 90 rated cards. Dunst doesn't look bad on paper. But there's just so many better options out of the selection of players here that someone has to be in the B tier. And Fromms is a goalkeeper. You know how I feel about goalkeepers. Where is he? Big man, you know what, actually? I got him red on the RTG and I actually quite liked him. So I treat him. I put him in the A tier for now, but you know I don't get on with the goalies. They're like bottom of the barrel. Another one joining them in the B tier is going to be Kowalski. Similar story to Dunst. Not a bad looking card. Some decent attributes. Finesse your playstyle plus, but... So many better cards out there. Anton up next. The centre back with the same playstyle pluses as VVD. I'm going to put him in the A tier. Like he's cheap as chips. He's basically discard for a centre back. But he's not bad. Like he's definitely usable. If you pack him, maybe instead of giving him a go. But A tier for me. Also in the A tier is going to be a woman whose name I love. Crom Bagel. I think it's fantastic. It's phenomenal. And she's in the A tier. Like, she's actually pretty decent. If you look at the stats, look at the playstyle pluses. She works well as a fullback overlapping. So, for that reason, I think she's decent enough to be in the A category. Same with Ann Yomi. An SBC that probably zero of you guys have done. I did her because I had extra fodder. Used her a little bit and she's pretty good, you know. I feel like she outperforms her stats a little bit for the price. 185 rated team. She's going to go in the A tier. It is what it is. So, our first A plus card is going to be... Granite Xhaka. Oh, I'm so happy to see Granite dominate with Leverkusen and I really want them to go unbeaten. Win the treble, it'll be mental. So EA had the opportunity. Xhaka, dominant, dominant signing. 95 rated, make him insane. They underdelivered, man. 92 rated and I've got him as a red on the RTG. He's decent, but just a little bit slow and a little bit clunky, which is the death what well, basically the separation from him being an A plus to S. Just needs a little bit more juice on there. I believe he's eligible for the Evo, the red Evo. So maybe if you do that, could elevate him a bit. But for me, A plus, there's better options out there. Unfortunately, as much as I hate to say it, Granite Jack is my boy. Let's go straight up to the S tier now then and take a guess who is gonna take place, Openda or Sane? Leroy Sane in S. Got him on the RTG again. My RTG's been like my Bundesliga, you know, place. That's why I'm getting all the Bundesliga cards right now. And Sane, oh, he's, diff he's different, man. Like, unique body type in game. He feels so powerful, so direct. With the power shot as well. You could play him as a left-sided striker, I kid you not. Just bomb down that side. Smash it across goal, you'll score screamers. Like, some people might find his body type a little bit clunky. So don't try to do super, super, like, cracked left stick turns. Utilize controlled sprint, subtle movements, and step overs. He loves a step over. Jaden Sancho up next. I'm going to put Jaden Sancho in the S tier for myself. Now, one thing on my tier list that I, I tend to mention occasionally is that I don't really tend to take price into account here. I review a lot of cards. It's what I do on my channel. You guys see it. You've been subbed. You know what I do. And I'm just giving you my personal opinion, man. Like, I don't care if he's under 100k. For me, he's an S tier card. I thought he was class and I had so much fun using him. It gave me Neymar vibes. 
the way he's not super fast on the ball, but just incredibly good at dribbling with ridiculous finesse shots. They fly. He's, oh yeah, he's meta. Flair plus a bit of a meh play style. If that was technical, I'll be in Dreamland. I've got him as a red as well, so he's definitely gonna get some use, but he's in the S tier. Up next is Leia Shula. Finesse shot play style plus. She's in the top of A+, plus, man. Like, she's a decent card. Honestly, stats are good. She feels quick, direct in game. Rapid plus as well with the finesse shot, which probably is. It's definitely top three base style pluses out there. That alone adds a bit of incentive to her card. But back it up with crazy, crazy nice stats. Good pace, shooting and dribbling. Yeah, she's a bit of a threat. Pajor up next. Press proven plus, you know me. I love that play style. Like, I'm a big fan of it. And that gets her in S tier. I mean, there's also other deciding factors here. The fact that she's crazy, crazy good in game. The pace, the shooting, the dribbling. She's like a level up on Shula. If you look at the stats, even though she's a lower rating, I feel like she's just elevated a little bit. No finesse shot playstyle plus, but still decent finishing playstyles. And she's just crazy sick, man. Really cool card in game. Doesn't get bullied as well. She's got some strength to back it up. Vigo's daughter up next. Crazy nice looking card. Like, the playstyle plus is a sick. Anticipate aerial long ball pass, but she's 5'8". And that alone, I just can't be using that, especially nowadays. Like, center backs, I need some presence. I need some big bulldozers at the back. 6'4", 6'3", 5'8", especially with the cross meta and how annoying it is. Even though she has aerial, it's, uh, it's a frustrating one, but she's in the B tier. Cool looking card, though. All right, Georgia Stanway, here we are. Reviewed her on the channel. And she was phenomenal. Capped to 290k. She's the first in S plus for sure. Just crazy, crazy well-rounded. Like I was scoring goals right foot, left foot, outside the box finishes, but it's the dribbling that I love. Like she's just so quick and crap, but that left stick control, controlled sprint. She flies, she glides, ducking and weaving, technical plus, intercepts, she's getting involved, making tackles. I'm doing a like a right body, like. And not getting body, which is huge. She's breaking up the play and even bodying people occasionally. She is only 5'4", though. So, obviously, her alongside of Rodri, probably going to be one winner. But you notice she gets in there, gets involved, wins the ball. And once the price range updates, oh, God, how expensive is she going to be, man? She could be a mil plus, I reckon. Talking about a mil plus, where is he? Club 90's Goretzka. Oh, this man annoyed me this weekend. Annoyed me. And now I've used... Goretzka's Evos, I've used a few. I've got the one with 96 shooting. I've seen what the, the other one he had uh, come out recently. They look decent. But this card is like, yeah, differently, different level. And the mad thing, I played against this guy this weekend. He scored a left-footed finesse shot against me. About 30 yards, not even a green time. Flew top bins. And as soon as that happened, I knew for a fact he's going to be an absolute nightmare. He's not A+. Plus. He's in the S-plus category. Extinct at 1.9 mil, which is... uh. It's, it's steep. Maybe I have a, a bit of a feeling with a lot of the extinct cards, actually, that as soon as they update the price range, it's been so long now that there's going to be a lot of cards just chilling on people's transfer list waiting. They're going to get flooded. He might even be less than that. It is one of those things that happens a lot. But right now, he's worth every penny. Demon. Demon. The opposite is Stanway. He's just the enforcer. Those two as a duo, oh, it's game over. Another CDM that looks fantastic is Oberdorf here. And I'm going to put her in the S tier. Big fan of Oberdorf. Her team of the year was fantastic. She's got that stocky body type that definitely complemented the physical side of the card. She's not the tallest, but she could body people. Really nice play style plus is for that CDM role. She is definitely a more out and out defensive midfielder though. Going forward, you're losing a little bit that like a Stanway or Goretzka can offer. But if you want like a dominant... CDM is going to marshal that midfield, win tackles, break up play, and release the ball. Oberdorf's that. An SBC that came out yesterday, Palacios. I'm going to put him in a similar kind of bracket to Xhaka. I'm going to put him in the A+. I saw a lot of people super hyping him up, and it's understandable. He's got some nice attributes. He looks solid. But for me, there's just better options out there. For the price, I reckon if he was on the market... It would have been cheaper than the SPC price, that's for sure. Let me know, though, if you've got him and you disagree with that and you think he should be higher. But for me, A+. National Wang up next is going to go straight into that A tier. She actually looks decent. And you know who she reminds me of? Charles. The Chelsea left back, who surprisingly for me was pretty solid. 
But once again, it's the same situation with fullbacks. Chemistry links are going to be an issue for her as well. That's one thing to note. Unless you've got Bayern players, Austrian players, there's just so many better options out there. And you are sacrificing the height a little bit. So for me, she's in the A. Tap sober. You know what? Tap sober, mate. You're in the B tier. I've had enough of this, man. Fraud. Fraud. Certified fraud. On paper, looks okay. In game, for me, didn't get on with him in the couple of games I played. So he's in the B tier. And there's just better options out there, man. Ta. Talking about better options, the big man is in the A+. And he's a big man. I get shades of Kanate with this guy in game. Similar kind of body type and feel. Just the dominant bruiser. And he's got the bruiser playstyle as well as the aerial presence in there. That alone elevates him a, a little bit more than the likes of Anton, for example, for me. So yeah, A+, plus all day. Definitely a little bit on the stocky and clunky side, though. But solid centre-back. Should we go up a level? Upa Meccano into that S tier. I honestly think Upa on paper looks like one of the craziest centre-back cards we've had so far. In game though, I don't know. I don't know if he's really worth the ridiculous price tag. You look at your Salibas, for example, he's worth, oh, well, a couple of days ago, half the price of Upa Meccano. He's dropped down a little bit now. Maybe it's a rarity issue, but I'm having Saliba any day over Upa. He is quick, he is fast, dominant, physical player, nice pace style pluses. But yeah, I can't, can't quite put him in the S+. I'll leave him in S. Kingsley Coleman is also joining the ranks in the S tier. I do really like Coleman. And I do have an Evo of him with really cool playstyles on with Technical Plus. The playstyles on this one, I don't know. This, uh, they could be so much better, right? Could be so much better. But still, if you need a winger who's got pace, great on the ball. Finishes dinner. Finishes maybe the most fraudulent thing here. But can link up the play well. Kingsley Coleman's definitely your guy. And his price tag, not even that bad. Another man that I've actually not tried myself. I've unlocked him, but best. I'm going to put you, I'll put you in the B tier. I just don't think realistically this man's getting into anybody's team out there. Decent play styles, the finesse shot essentially. But apart from that, I can't see him really carrying any weight amongst a lot of these cards. Just so many better options out there. Talking about better, it is time. Should we venture back to the S plus category? And this one... It's going to catch you out of nowhere. I'm putting Nico Schlotterbeck in S+. And what? I've done it. It's too late now. I can't take him out. For me, he's better than Upa Meccano. And he is the best centre-back out of the Bundesliga team of the season. And also the Women's Bundesliga. He's just so, so solid. So good in the air. Anticipate in there as well. The scoring headers for fun this weekend for me. I lucky enough packed him untradeable on the main account. So absolutely chuffed with that. He is going to be leading the line with one of my new Evos. Leading the line? He's going to be leading the bat line as with one of my new Evos for chemistry very, very soon. That review will be out. I don't want to give away any hints, but it might play for Dortmund. Uh, but he's crazy, man. And I actually preferred him over Meccano. It is what it is. For the price, one of the best centre-backs out there with a sit dynamic image. Simakan. Not a bad SBC, but once again, similar to Anton. Just so many better centre-backs, man. And realistically, I'll probably be avoiding him unless you need, like, chemistry for whatever reason. Like, because you can obtain better team of season cards for less than 70k at this point. So, for me, he's in the A tier. Also in the A tier is going to be Gulassi. Didn't get on with him. I don't know what it was. It might have been the gameplay at the time. Like, he doesn't look bad on paper. Similar to Bodyface, actually, we're yet to touch on. But for me, couldn't get on with him. He's good at finishing apart from that. Lack of mobility, I really did notice. And uh, yeah, no higher than A. Adeyemi up next. You are going A+, plus, mate. <laughs> Bias will be there because I played this man as a cam on my RTG Weekend League. And he was doing it all. Carrying the ball at speed. We got finesse shot in there. We got acrobatic, which is not ideal. But a quick step, of course, with the speed. He is so fast. Doesn't get bullied. And was popping up for those extra passes. Scoring goals for me, which is fantastic. Uh, really enjoyed him. For the price, he's cracked. It is what it is. Probably most of you have packed him, to be fair, because the pack weight on this card seems to be super high. But yeah, A plus for me. Now let's move back up to the S tier. And we've got some decent, decent options left here. A lot of the heavy hitters I'm yet to touch on. But heading to the S, Xavi Simmons in the S tier. Crazy cool card. You know, I rave about him all the time. I'm a big fan of Javi Simmons on this game. I had an Evo at some point, which was really good, an 89 rated one. He's got technical, he's got tick attacker and long ball pass, which are a really nice combination for playmaking. But he can carry the ball at speed, which I love. Beating players is effortless, and he can find the back of the net. Really nice card for the price tag. I think he's only 250k now. Marco Royce is also going into the S tier. Now, Marco on paper looks bonkers. 
and I reviewed him on the channel. He was one mil at the time. He's come down a fair bit. I honestly think he should come down a little bit more. If Xavi Simmons is what, 250, 300k, Roy should be no more than 450, 500 in my opinion. Like on paper is ridiculous. Playstyle pluses, could be a little bit better in all fairness. Like if he had finesse shot, we're flying. I swear he's known for the finesses as well. So that would have elevated the card big time. Ball control is great. Speed, he has it. The acceleration is decent. But there's something a little bit off about the card. Like he didn't really live up to the stats massively. But still, crazy nice card nevertheless. And still S tier for me. Just could have been better. All right, let's do the obvious then. The best, yeah, the best card in this team, Harry Kane. S plus all day. The fact they gave him those playstyle pluses should be criminal. And the thing with Kane, like, yes, he's a little bit big, but he can still move. And the lack of speed isn't an issue. Give him a chem style to juice that up and you are flying. Like the fact that you got finesse shot, incisive and technical on one card with these stats, it should be illegal. And Harry Kane is mad. If you pack him, I am so jealous. What a baller. So Davies, Grimaldo, Musiala, Verts, and Frimpong. It's obvious where they all go in. S plus, S plus, S plus, S plus, S plus. Mainly because they're like the best possible options in their positions. Like if you need a left back, Davies, Grimaldo. Grimaldo might even be the best left back in the game. And the thing is, he can play left wing, he can play box to box left wing, he can play anywhere. Davies, crazy overpowered, crazy good in game. Fantastic option as well. Same with a right back, Frimpong ridiculously as cracked as those two price a little bit steep let me just say but he is the best right back in the game so it kind of makes sense so he's s plus all day and verts and musiala if i'm picking one by the way i'm picking verts musiala uh, i kind of thought he was going to be better but i actually prefer verts more i think he feels more quick on the ball musiala's controlled sprint might be better but verts that left stick proper snap and finishing wise, I was bagging more goals with Verts over Musiala, but still two fantastic cards nevertheless. Up to the last four now, Pop, Openda, and Mr. Boniface. I'm gonna put Boniface. Boniface is gonna snip, I'm gonna put him top of A+. He was getting so much hype, he honestly was. Now the last four left on this list, I've only used two of them. I've not tried Boniface, I've not tried Pop, but I'm gonna still put Boniface into the A+. At the very, very tippity top, almost in S, purely for a game I played against him this weekend. This man, nightmare. Press proven plus on a big boy. I rate it, you know, I really do. Aerial as well as power shot. Four star, four star is a bit of a letdown, but it's not the end of the world. You can look past that. He's unique. And if you've got on with Jogba, you'd be a fan of this man for sure. Donyal Marlin. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this man is crazy. He's insane. I, I can't get over how good Marlon is this year. I don't know what it is about him. I don't think he's a unique body type. Maybe he does, but this man feels like super quick. The acceleration, you know when players take a big touch, there's a little delay to catch the ball. You take a touch, Marlon's ahead of the ball. He's that fast and the finishing, mental. Playstyle pluses could have been better. Same with the, um, the four star, four star, but for me, he's in the S tier. I don't care. Don't care. He's in S. Openda also is in the S tier. Not quite S plus for me. Like he's very, very good. Great play stuff pluses. Moves fast, can score goals. He's no longer just an out and out speed demon. His finishing is great. It's fantastic with the uh, controlled sprint as well. The press proven elevates him, but extinct at 550k. It's going to be similar to Goretzka, I think, that once his price range updates, he's probably going to go for that price anyway, roughly. Maybe even a bit cheaper, but still a really nice card. And Pop. Get in S plus, mate. Like five star, five star, finesse shot, aerial with these stats. Go, like, I'm, I've not used this card, but going off her team of the year, she is going to be S plus all day. Similar to Harry Kane, the almost carbon copies of each other. So that's it. My tier list is locked in. We are happy with it. Let me know what you think down below. Some controversial shouts. Feel free to argue with me in the comment section. I'm all ears, but I reckon that's pretty spot on. Let me know, by the way, if you've opened the Bundesliga guarantee pack by the time you're watching this video. If that's the reason you're here, let me know who you get. I'm ready to spam it on both accounts, and I'm hoping for a Simmons for sure on the main account. I'll take a Pajor. You know what? Anyone in S, S plus and S, basically. Obvious. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'll be more subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you later.